Hi folks, Robert Quigley here, Washington DC, the Money Pit Crew, on the road to the White House. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please push the subscribe button below, add your comments, join the conversation. Today, we have entered the age of scarcity. According to popular news media, so far this year, the world has taken a $1.6 trillion hit to the global economy. I want to focus on this issue and drill down and look at a couple of different points. It's not such a bad thing that the world has lost $1.6 trillion, but it does highlight some very important issues. Number one, we need to reestablish the U.S cottage industry as quickly as possible. Now we're going to go through a couple of details on that topic. Then we're going to make a brief mention of the need for carbon and methane capture industries. These are new industries that must be heavily invested in, immediately implemented, and spread as far and wide and deep across the global and U.S. economies as possible. Okay. Reestablish the cottage industry. First thing we want to do is we want to just talk about the advantages. What do we get out of a reestablished U.S. cottage industry? Well, we're going to greatly reduce the transportation cost of goods. We're going to increase local employment. We're going to create more entrepreneurial, self supporting families. We're going to reduce global warming. We're going to have greater participation in the local and national economy. Each entrepreneur and their families are going to get a bigger share of their productive gains. We're going to reduce shortages across the board. Shortages are, have come into our lives and they're going to last for years to come. The days of rampant, plenty, buy at whim, those are coming to an end. Now we need a more rationalized economy, a more rationalized family, a more rationalized existence. We don't need the cheapest price on every good. We need the best quality at the best price for our goods. Most of all, we need lots of local know-how, increased local know-how, and local sustainability. Okay, so let's look a little bit deeper into the cottage industry. As you know, I'm on the road to the White House, but I'm not waiting until we get to the White House. Right now, I'm calling on our cottage industry partners to step up to the plate, support the channel, support the cause, to get involved. Who am I talking about? I'm talking about Walmart. I know that Walmart has a local buying program. It's a, it, it's a well-kept secret. It needs to be ramped up. I'll have to look it up, but there are, what, 2,500 Walmart stores across America? They can be a driver of our local cottage industry by providing ready markets for our locally made goods. Target, you're not getting out of this. You are a target, Target. We expect you to get involved on the same terms. Federated department stores, you're great at selling clothes and garments, belts and shoes and the rest of it. Everything you sell can be made locally. We need you on board. Home Depot. Home Depot doesn't escape it. I want to share a quick story with you guys. I lived in Asia for 10 years. During, during part of my stay in Taiwan, I would often walk through a neighborhood, not too far from where I lived, and I would walk by family factory after family factory. And interesting of all things, each family factory made one little product. Let's call it a, a screw, or let's call it a nail. Let's call it a two-inch nail. Uh, let's call it a flathead screw, or let's call it a Phillips head screw. Uh, one family had the machinery, and 24-7, they would make that one type of nail, or that one type of product. And they would churn them out by the hundreds of thousands every week. Why in the world can this not be done in the United States? That, my friend, is a cottage industry. Home Depot, you're not escaping. I expect you to join the team. 
My contact information is in these videos. Find it, contact me, get on board. Whole Foods, Whole Foods and Bezos and Amazon, but we're going to say Whole Foods here. We have a country full of fantastic experienced bakers. There's absolutely no reason why their baked products uh, cannot uh, land on your shelves for the greater community to consume. I've been to a lot of church, church picnics. I've been to a lot of craft shows. I've tasted lots of their food. The talent and skill is there. Whole Foods, you're part of the team. We expect you to show up for practice in the game. I'm coming after you. So basically, I'm using this small collection of five incredibly large American stores which can buy and resell huge quantities of American cottage industry products. I will task each store with reaching out and supporting and buying from their local cottage industry community. We're going to channel financers in your direction. We're going to recruit financers. The process has already started. We want them on board. We want them to help our cottage industry guys. This is the way of the future. What is a cottage industry again? Small businesses that are focused on just a few products, but yet they make huge numbers of the huge products. This is what we need as we, in, as we enter the age of global scarcity. I want to finish up the video, guys, by talking about carbon and methane capture. We absolutely need this new industry. There are a couple of different ways to organize it. Here's a template. We need support. We need to get it done. If you're an industrial polluter, we're going to mandate that the industrial polluters invest in carbon and methane scrubbers. Generally, across the country and across the world, we need to insist that governments, state governments, federal governments, local governments invest in large-scale carbon and methane scrubber plants and technologies. It has to happen. We've got to lower the global temperature, and there's no way that reducing our emissions is going to solve this problem. Now, there's one big overlooked area along this vein. We need home versions of scrubber technology. We need to encourage home solar panel use. We need to encourage home wind power use. We're going to use property tax rebates to put solar panels on every roof, to put wind turbines in every yard. We're going to invent carbon and methane scrubbers that are designed for the home scale. This is where we have to go, folks. Join me. Join the channel. Subscribe. Add your comments. Join the conversation. Until we meet again.